Coming up, we're going to show you how to put a conversion analysis template like this so that you can determine where in the funnel you need to improve. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com. And in this video, we're going to really walk through App Store Connect and really focus in on your subscription revenue. What are those trial activations of those trials? How many actually convert to paying customers? And we're going to analyze all that for you. It's something that we started to do for clients right off the jump when we start working together to see if there are any holes in the app funnel and how we can help out with that. And in our previous video, we really break down what are the conversion rates that you should be seeing, the ideal conversion rates that you should be aiming for. So I'll put a card up there for you guys to check that video out if you haven't done so. So let's get into App Store Connect. Here's my App Store Connect data. I don't mind sharing you all the revenue numbers. Now, granted, this is not a big part of our business. We're trying to make it a bigger part. And this is our app portfolio right now. And so what you want to do is log into App Store Connect, obviously, go into sales and trends. Now, I personally prefer to use App Store Connect versus like Revenue Cat, just because I know this is coming from the source, coming from God, right? So it's coming from the source. So you want to go into the sales report first and foremost. First thing we're going to do is go into units. So we want to get the downloads, right? And I'm just going to pick out this app, the Moonlight app that I have. And I'm going to analyze. You can go as far back as you want. I think typically six months is good enough. But if you want to go a whole year to get seasonality in there, that's huge. So since we're already doing it, you might want to do the whole year since you're already doing it. But I'm going to do six months just for this video. So I'm going to go actually back till October 1st and then end of March. So we're going to pick that as a day up here. And then I'm going to select months. All right. And I'm going to hit download. CVF. Cool. So got that. We're going to put this into a handy dandy spreadsheet as well. This is what, this is the spreadsheet we're going to be start filling out. I'm just going to go ahead and fill this out for you guys. So I opened up the downloads and I'm just going to fill this in on a month. Cool. So we have that. Let's go back. Let's try to figure out the monthly activation and all that other stuff, the fun stuff, the real handy dandy stuff. All right. So the other thing I want to do is just to get a sense of the sales too. And I don't have to take that out. So you go to sales and then you have the date range and you want to add a filter depending on the app. So I've got multiple apps in our portfolio. I'm going to put moonlight right here and I can just see by sales. So again, not a whole lot of revenue coming in, but heck, it's fun for me to test different things with for you guys and show you these type of videos. If I didn't have an ad account, I couldn't do it. So I've got the sales numbers right here. I'm going to copy and paste it. I know you guys can't see it, but I'm going to do this. And then this is where I'm going to input it. Total sales from App Store Connect, ACS. Okay. And then I'm just going to put it right. The reason why I want this in there is when we calculate the new revenue for each month, we want to just compare it because there's always going to be old revenue for sales. So we just want to compare it with what's been happening in the, for the month, right? So, okay, now let's get into the monthly activations. So you want to next go into events. Again, I want to filter off of Moonlight. All right. Now we want to look at activations. Activations are when somebody activates a trial. Now, if you don't have a trial, then activations are just somebody paying. So you're just going to have to know whether your app has a trial or not. My app has a three-day trial on the monthly and a seven-day on the yearly. All right. So I'm going to go into subscriptions and then here's how we're going to break it down. So we go monthly. Let me change the date range real quick. October. Cool. Apply. All right. Now I'm going to break it down by monthly and yearly because I want to get a really good analysis of how each subscription plan is converting. Okay. Because we want more people on the yearly, but let's see if I'm doing that properly. I'm going to change this from days to months. And then I'm going to download the monthly first. So you just tap on the monthly and then I'm going to tap on the yearly. And then download that. The next thing we want to do is now we have activations. How many of those trial activations turn into paying customers? So we're going to let go of activations 
we can keep it on yearly, but I'm going to let go of all the filters. I'm going to keep it on Moonlight up here. Go into our event type. Then we're going to change it to conversions to standard price. Now that is when somebody goes from a trial to a paying customer, essentially. So go back to subscriptions. Since we did monthly and yearly first, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to hit download on that. Yearly on that. Now we have that data and we're just going to input it into our handy dandy spreadsheet. Now let me just copy and paste some of these numbers for you. So this is the monthly activation. You just want to be careful with this. And then we have the yearly activation right here. I'm going to move this over. You want to be good and just copy and paste. So I'm going to do all that. So now that I've copied and pasted the monthly activation, the monthly trial to subscription, the yearly activation, the yearly trial to subscription, I just want to get a sense of real new revenue. Now we can do proceeds if you want, right? So these are the ones that have paid me. So I'm just going to do $5. Now I could theoretically do five times 8.5, 0.85, which is just after Apple's take. But for the sake of this recording, I'm just going to keep it at five. Make this into a money and then do that. Now, obviously this is a this is not a true picture of the activation because theoretically some people could have activated in November but actually converted it in December, but because we're doing a longer month and we just want to get a general sense of how things are going, it doesn't really matter for this case, but I wanted I do want to point that out that I do know, okay? So this is $20, so I'm going to put whoops here, I'm going to put this by times 20. And then here I'm able to just start to see this is $45 new revenue. Then this is 76. Now I do have a lifetime offer. Okay. So one of the lifetime offers, what I'm going to do here is go into app store connect. Now with lifetime, because it's not a subscription, you're not going to find it under event. So you actually need to go under units is the best way to do this. Right. And then you can see I've put in the same dates. I'm going to change this into months and you can see the lifetime offer right here. Now these ad units, when you just have it as units, these could be recurring. So they're like pretty much recurring, right? Like things that are recurring or they're new ones. So you, they don't differentiate it when you just look under units right here. You still see the monthly here. You still see the yearly. But obviously, if you look at this, uh, let's just pick monthly, for example. This is 40. This is 5, 10, 10, right? For October and November. But here for the activations, there was zero and then four in November. So the numbers don't line up. That's because some things could just be recurring, right? There's recurring revenue happening. So that's what that number is. So you really want to go into the events for the activations to get that true sense. All right, I'm going to take that out and I'm going to put lifetime. And then download that. I'll import the lifetime and then I'm just going to give the lifetime revenue. The lifetime revenue, this is $30. Cool. Some people are buying the lifetime and then you can just add up all this for a new revenue. Cool. And then here I'm just comparing, right? It's like, oh, new revenue. So like $50 is old revenue. And then here, you know, you got maybe half of it is old revenue. And so the old revenue looks like people are canceling. So we can see that the revenue numbers are going down and then we still have some old revenue right here. And then here, revenue per download. I like to look at new revenue per download. So it's 19 cents, which means I got to really increase my conversion rates or my downloads, right? One of those things. So the next thing we're going to do is just put some calculations in. We want monthly conversion. Again, conversion in this case is just the trial activation. So I'm going to put that as a percentage. And then yearly conversion is going to be one over this. Let's just do this. Boop. Okay. And then I want total. So I'm going to include my lifetime on this one. So I want the activation, plus monthly activation plus yearly activation plus lifetime over downloads. And then just to make sure the math is right, I'm going to put a little parentheses in between all the activations. Boom. Then I can copy and paste here. Boom. So total conversion right here. You see it? And it's 
pretty low, right? I want to be at that 5%. I'm not quite there. So I need to very much improve my pricing page or the onboarding flow. I need to improve something for this because this is very, very low, especially in March. We had a very low month, okay? Because we've had case study of apps for Xing their revenues with just 15 downloads a day. So sometimes it's not so much always a download problem. It is sometimes just a conversion problem. Now that you start increasing your conversions, you can start spending more money. The next thing we want to analyze is the monthly trial to subs. So that's a pretty easy equation. Trial to sub over activation. And then the yearly, because that's all, that was all zero, yearly sub over activation. Boom. These both should be a percentage. And then we're just going to copy and paste here. So these numbers aren't too bad. And what I missed here, and I'll just input this, is the total trial to sub. So again, you can do this, just add monthly plus yearly trial to sub over monthly activation plus yearly activation. Boom. Right? And this is just a percentage as well. Let's paste all that. Okay. So this is pretty good, positive, but these numbers aren't too bad. I think at this a whole, we can add all this up in here we want to be anywhere from 30 to 40 percent don't know what happened here that was such low all the monthly activations did not convert so that's a problem on my end but we want to be anywhere from the total 30 to 40 percent down here okay and then here you can see the true conversion rate in terms of how many subs you're getting per download and that's a pretty easy calculation here too so subs over downloads and then here subs over downloads and then total subs so that's doop plus doop over downloads again i'm going to just put some parentheses just to make sure google sheets doesn't do anything funky for me these should all be percentages now with all this data you can do the competitor analysis. Check out that video if you haven't done that. And you can see if your pricing is too high, too low, where you fall on that, especially if these numbers are low. Is it a paywall problem? Is it a pricing problem? You can really start having the numbers tell you which direction you can go. And I really love doing this. It's one of the things where we get a true picture of how we're performing. Now, I've just totaled everything up. So the past six months, I've just totaled everything in this column. And you can see, like, the true conversion rate is 1.8, which is really bad. I got to get that into the five range. That's probably why some of my keywords are not sticking, despite the ASO strategy. So this is a problem area right here. This 1.8 trial activation overall. This trial to sub, if you look at these months, you're like, oh, I'm not sure. But if we took a cumulative a cumulative look at it, you see that it's 35%, which is in the normal range that we typically see. And then lastly, the true conversion rate needs help too. But if we can get this higher, we can probably get this higher as well. So right here, from what I can see, it is the paywall optimization, trying to figure out how I can get this 1.8 to 5%. All right, guys, that's it. Let me know what you thought. And if you want me to do a deeper dive into App Store Connect and all the lovely things that it can expose to us, please let me know because we do this for our clients all the time, but I don't know if it's going to be beneficial for you. So if you got questions within App Store Connect and you're like, hey, how do I do this? How do I do that? Leave a comment below. I will cover it in an upcoming video. And if you want to learn about how we can help you with your downloads and revenues, well, go check out appmasters.com. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video.